Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here to share with you guys an exciting new video. And if you can't already tell, we are now somewhere a little bit different than where I normally record videos. We are in my small, but very, very um, well used kitchen. And I want to show you guys a little bit of a DIY hack that I've kind of come up with and thought of and I thought, why not just share it on here and show you guys what I get up to. So if you haven't already seen my most latest video, which is my Ikea haul, I'll actually link it up here in the card so you can have a look at it. But I've recently done an Ikea haul to just pick up a few things for the house that I needed and just, you know, spruce up a few things. And one thing that I really wanted to do is organize my spice rack. Now I have quite a few spices. I do enjoy cooking a lot, so I obviously wanted to make sure that my spice rack is really, really organized. So I have quite a few different size bottles, different labels, etc., and I just wanted to really organize it. And since I'm in lockdown right now when I am recording this video and maybe when you guys are watching this, London is in lockdown and because of that we can't really leave our houses that much and I wanted to do something productive with my time. I wanted to spruce up my flat so that I felt more at home since I am spending so much time at home. So for my DIY hack today, we are going to need a few things and I've already ordered these online, but I'll make sure to link everything I talk about in this video down in the description and also put little screenshots on the screen as well so you guys are aware of what I'm talking about when I am. I'm talking about it. So the first thing I want to mention is you're going to need to get some sort of organized spice jar. So these are from Ikea and I think you get the best amount of value for your money here. So really I got a pack of one, two, I think they were coming packs of four and in the pack of four you get obviously a different jar of glass and then you get a black top and the black top includes two sides. So one side has like little holes in it so when you just want to sprinkle some seasoning on top and there's another side that has a little bit bigger of a mouth opening and when you use this mouth opening you can like you know tablespoon or teaspoon spices in anyways I really like the look of these little jars because a they're glass so I feel like they're gonna last a lot longer and then the black tops make them really uniformed and I just really like the look of them I actually admittedly have a few of these already in my spice rack which I'll show you the before um, but I wanted to get them all. I wanted them all to look the same and I wanted them to look really uniformed. And so that's why I bought a whole bunch of them as you can see. I don't know if I'll need this many, but I want it to be safe rather than sorry because again, Ikea is doing delivery only and um, because of that I didn't want to have to do multiple deliveries. So anyways, I bought these. The next thing you're going to have to buy is a label maker. Now I got this from Dymo or Dumo, Dymo I think. And it's actually an embossed label maker, so it basically punches holes into the tape. It's not the one that you kind of print out and is on white paper. It's actually on black paper. And if you can see on the background here, I've recently done a DIY with my dish soap and my hand soap in my kitchen, and I also did it in my bathroom. And I think it just looks so clean and so, I don't know, like minimalistic, but also like really, really like put together. And I, I don't know, while I'm spending more time at home, I just want to have my house look more organized and put together. So you're going to need some sort of label maker. I would recommend this Dymo one. I will actually link it down below, um, but you can use any label maker that you want. If you guys do like videos like this, please do give it a thumbs up. It really makes a difference for a small YouTuber like me. I create videos on my life in London, hauls, beauty, fitness, uh, lifestyle, you name it, travel, all of it's on my channel. So please feel free to subscribe and stick around and check out my other videos. Anyways, I will stop blabbering on and I will get on to this DIY. So guys, my spices are stored right above my stove and it's actually in a cupboard. And all you do is open up this cupboard and you'll see that this is where all my spices are. And this is what we are going to organize today. So something else I forgot to mention in the intro of this video is that you're going to need funnels. And this is just going to make your life so much easier if you go ahead and put the funnel into the container so that you can make sure your spices transfer without spilling everywhere. So if you have some kitchen funnels lying around, that's also going to be super helpful. I mean, you don't absolutely need them, but you're going to create a mess if you don't use these. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the funnel into the glass jar like this. And then I'm going to take my first spice, which is garlic granules, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the jar.
Now, once this is done, I'm gonna actually write out the label using my label maker. And now, um, I'm just gonna show you how I use this. Now, since garlic granules are two different words and on two different lines here, what I'm actually gonna suggest is that you guys use this in two different stickers. So you're gonna write garlic on one sticker and then granules on another. And I'm just gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out garlic. So G A R L I and then C. And then you're gonna go ahead and cut so in order to make this come out as like even or organized like you can see here on my tape here is I would highly recommend every time you push, push kind of hard because you are embossing this. You are going to have to push into this so that you can get that garlic to show up. So now let's do granules. So G R A N U L E S And now you have it. You have it in two different tape forms. So it says garlic granules, as you can see, and it's on two different pieces of tape, which is really helpful and also like, again, easier to read on your bottle. So go ahead and peel the tape and put it onto your new glass jar. So I'm just gonna peel garlic first, and then I'm gonna put it right onto the middle of my jar, pretty straight. I'd say, and then put in garlic, and then I'm gonna put granules right below it. Um, this is kind of tricky. Well, you're gonna wanna make sure again that you're keeping things centered and even. Just take your time, but there you go. There you have it, garlic granules. And it's nice and clean and even, and now in your new glass jar. So I'm actually gonna speed through now showing you the rest of these bottles because it's gonna get kind of boring if I just you know, keep talking through every single one, but I think you guys get the gist of it.
here is the final product. This is my new spice rack. Now everything has been organized and you can see that the labels have all been printed. I personally have not alphabetized my spices and the main reason is because the bottom rack is the easiest for me to get to because I'm so short and because of that I've used I've left my most used spices down there and then the second rack is also like used spices but not so much and they're a little bit more difficult for me to get to and then my top rack is actually my baking spices or let's see my like my non-savory spices and that's obviously very rarely or not as often used I should say and because of that I've left them up at the top so I can just grab a chair and bring them down when I need them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks on how to organize your house and especially your spice rack. Now, as you can see behind me, my spice rack is perfectly organized the way I love it. And I cannot wait to cook some more and to make more cooking videos for you guys. So if you wanna see more content on my channel, please do make sure to subscribe. It means the world to me if you do. And then obviously like this video and also comment down below and let me know of any DIYs that you guys are doing that I should maybe try out. I love a good DIY. I love a good organization or let's say tidy up trick. So if you guys are doing something really cool right now in your house, leave a comment down below or share a video that you guys found really interesting and I wanna do it too because I wanna do more house tidiness organization, cooking, all those things on my channel. So I hope you guys stick around and subscribe and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.